Hey guys, Bungy here and welcome to another tech tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build an uncensored library slash odyssey app for Windows from the source code. There is technically no way for odyssey or library to be censored since the technology itself is built on a blockchain, which um, by its very concept and design cannot be censored. However, the Odyssey front end and the um, standard library desktop app are censored to comply with local jurisdictions of Library Incorporated. And sometimes you can find that these restrictions are unnecessary and that even some legal and lawful content um, get flagged as breaching some sort of policy. Before we get started, I'm just going to quickly provide a disclaimer that this video is purely for educational purposes only and that I am not recommending you access any illegal slash copyrighted content on your computer. If you wish to proceed, then proceed at your own risk. So, the first thing that we should do is that we can install Node.js. Um, by going to the official node javascript download page which I will link to in the description below uh, you can go ahead and click on windows installer here to download it and just open it or save as and then open it depending on what you prefer I'm just going to open it and I'm pretty sure you guys should be pretty familiar with installing applications on your computer and I've already installed this so I don't have to install this again but um, you guys just go ahead and install Node.js and once you've installed Node.js what you have to do then is just to go ahead and head to your command prompt by going to Windows typing CMD and then running command prompt you can run this as an administrator or you can run this with your local account it will work both ways so the next thing we're going to do is install um, with the node package manager we are going to be installing yarn which is the building tool for node.js applications with the electron wrapper so we're going to do this by typing in npm install dash dash global yarn and since I already have this installed, it's going to print a lot less than it might for you. So um, it will print more than this on your computer and that's completely fine. And once Yarn is installed, the next thing that you can do is head to, head to the library desktop official GitHub repository and download the source code. You can download the source code by just clicking on, on the green button called code and then download zip and download this or save it as to any folder that you wish. And once your file has been downloaded, just go ahead and right click on your file and then go extract all and then extract it to any folder that you wish. I'm just going to extract it to the default folder. This might take a while, so please be patient. If something comes up asking you whether you want to replace files in destination, just hit replace. And uh, once our files have been extracted, go ahead and head into that folder we have just created. And we can head into this folder as well. And now we can go ahead and modify the source code. So head into the UI folder in that root directory and then you will find a file called index.jsx. This is the file that we will be changing. So just go ahead and open this file in your favorite text editor. I'm just going to be using Atom, which is free and open source, and you can download it from atom.io. Once the file is open, just hit Control F to search, and then search for outpoints. O-U-T-P-O-I-N-T-S, hit find, and here we go. These two lines are the lines that manages the content blocking. 
in uh, library so we can go ahead and use double slashes as in JavaScript to comment out those lines and then we can go file save or just control s if you wish and then we can close that file and now we're going to be compiling the file so the first thing that we are going to be doing is right clicking the folder or going to command prompt directly open in Windows terminal or you can uh, manually change directory into this folder if you wish and first of all we are going to be installing the yarn dependencies that we need to compile this file we can do this by hitting um, by typing yarn install which will install the JavaScript dependencies with the node package manager this will take a while so bear with me and be patient And once that is completed, we can go ahead and build the library desktop application. We can do this by typing yarn build. This will take a while as well, so please be patient once again. Now that the library desktop app has been successfully built, we can go ahead and close this command prompt window. And then now we can um, exit back to the root directory and you'll see a directory called dist. Go into dist and then go into electron. And then here we have it, a compiled uncensored library client. Just double click on this client and run as administrator and it will install library on your computer. Once you have library installed, just double click and run library. And voila, the content that was censored before is now accessible. So I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time in my videos. Bye guys.